friends. Okay, so I am on my route. I pulled over, taking a quick mini break because I have a couple things I want to talk to you about. So yesterday, I hope that you caught my video. I hope that you took a few minutes and listened to it. Some of it might have been hard to hear. Hopefully you made it past my phone falling. <laughs> um, but I was talking about how like Monday was a fresh opportunity to begin again and that I had one goal and that was to eat like I love myself, right? So this is real life. It is now Wednesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Uh huh. And I was really good all day Tuesday, except I was too busy. I worked out in the morning. I did my route. I came home. I did all the things, the mom life things, the homeschool things. And then we rushed off to a baseball game and I brought my shake and I had some apples, but it wasn't enough. And before I knew it, I had my hand stuffed in a Cheeto bag. And I'm not talking like it was a dainty little serving. It was like Homer Simpson, nom, nom, nom. like I went to town on the Cheetos. I love Cheetos, they're so delicious. But these were the spicy ones, I don't really like those. Anyways, I had the Cheetos and I felt very shamey about it. And this morning I was like chewing on it. I'm like, should I talk about it? Should I not? Like I wasn't gonna beat myself up over it, but sometimes it's easy to feel like you are failing or sucking or you're inauthentic or whatever because you keep making a promise to yourself and then real life happens and you get derailed. And so I wanna talk about that because I think that's where so many of you get stuck. Like you set this intention, you have this great goal and then life happens and you're either slightly derailed and you allow that to completely derail you or you, you know, slip up or get off track or whatever and you go down this whole mental highway that doesn't serve you. And so the Cheeto eating last night, I logged it. I, um, I logged it and then this morning I weighed and the scale really wasn't any different. I didn't look di differently. I didn't feel differently. I slept fine, but it was still that like I ate it. I broke a promise to myself. I ate it. I feel stupid. It, it wasn't even that delicious. They weren't even like the legit old school Cheetos. But I was like, okay, I can either view this as a failure or I can view it for what it was, which is just data. That was just data. And the data was that I didn't prioritize any downtime yesterday. So I was overly tired and I'm a tired eater. I was overly tired and then I didn't set myself up for success with enough food. Like, yeah, I love my shake, but not for dinner. And apples are great, but in the face of beef sticks and chips and all the other things, am I really wanting to stay on track with that? And the last part is this is life, right? So I always kind of toggle back and forth between, yes, I have a diet, as in I follow a plan, but I'm not here to deprive myself. And some of you might be like, then why are you even talking about the Cheetos? I'm talking about the Cheetos because this is just an illustration and I'm doing gut protocol, right? Which means I'm supposed to be eliminating things with food coloring and corn and all that stuff. So yesterday it didn't ruin my life and it didn't derail me. It was just, it was life and it was data. And so I can choose to move forward. I'm not even starting over. There's none of that. I wrote it down. I logged it. I acknowledged it. I asked myself, what could I have done differently? Do I regret it? Yeah, but who cares? Whatever. I don't need to do anything differently today. I don't need to work out any longer. I don't need to drink more water. I don't need to eliminate a yellow container. I don't need to do any of that. Today is a fresh start. The calendar restarts every single day. It's a perfect opportunity for you to begin again and to realign. And so if you have gotten off track, you feeling guilt or beating yourself up or shaming or mean growing, that will not move you towards who you want to be. You wouldn't hang out with someone that talks trash. So why do we allow ourselves to do that? Okay, so I need to do nothing differently today other than to be aware and to set myself up for success better for tonight's game because there's another game. And then today is, um, it's kind of an active recovery day for me. And I, again, life happened and I needed to take one of the kids to school. And that was gonna eat into my workout window because I am the kind of person where I have a window of time and that is what it is for. If I say, I can't get a whole workout in now, I'll do it later, I won't do it later. I won't, I'll make up excuses, life will happen. I don't want to work out in the afternoon. Morning workout is what works best for me. So listen to me here when I say this. My window was partially eaten into because I had to go to school with the kid, which is fine. 
So I came home and I got on Zoom a few minutes late. I said hi to the ladies, we muted ourselves, and I moved my body. I turned on Let's Get Up, which <laughs> I've been here a while, I'm not a dancer, but I'm gonna change that, gonna change it. I want to feel confident in my body when it moves. There's no reason I don't have rhythm, that is just a self-limiting belief that I have told myself and believed, and I'm gonna rewire, rewire, rewrite and rewire it, right? So I pushed play. I did not have 35 minutes to do the whole workout but some is better than none, right? So I push play, I spent 12 minutes, 12 minutes dancing and sweating and totally out of breath, what the heck, Sean T? And then I turned it off. And if I pick it up later, cool. And if I don't, I've still had success. I still showed up to my journey. I still prioritized what actually matters. I don't count my workout as self-care anymore. I don't do that. Some of you need to do that. It's still new. It's still something you're trying to cultivate. You're trying to carve out that space. And I want you to look at it like that. But for me, working out is just mental hygiene. It's just part of what I do every single day. If I don't do it, I feel weird because I've created the habit. I have spent literally freaking what? Like nine years now making that a non-negotiable every single day. And I didn't work out today because of what happened yesterday. I worked out because I want to be happy, healthy Sarah today. I want to feel like I am in charge of my journey. I want to own the things I can own. And so even though I only got 12 minutes out of 35 or whatever, it's a win. It's a victory. And I'm going to claim that. And I'm going to be proud of myself. And I'm going to move forward. And I'm going to do my best. And I'm going to surrender the rest. Okay? So I'm telling you all this because I want you to have that like spirit check, gut check where I want you to make a promise to yourself. And that was the entire point of yesterday's video. I asked you to lower your standards, but raise your bar. I want you to lower your standards in how you show up. Okay. Like the things you do, like for example, knowing that I had a shorter amount of workout time meant that I still showed up and touched it instead of making an excuse or kicking the can later into the, the day and creating stress and stuff for myself. And I did 12 minutes that was me lowering my standards. I did 12 minutes out of 35 and it was okay. I'm cool with that. But I raised the bar on the fact that I am not willing to compromise on that promise. I made myself that promise. And if you are making yourself promises and setting goals and intentions, and then you're the first person to quit on yourself, that is the fastest way to derail yourself and just chisel away at your self-belief. And a lot of you are in that phase of like having to build your belief. I believe in you. If I could do it over 200 pounds with three kids under freaking three and a half, you can do it. You absolutely can do it. But the key and the trick and the special sauce is to make it yours. So what do you need? Do you need more joy in your workout? Then do some dancing if dancing brings you joy. Do you need it to be slower? Then do some yoga. Like you can change it up. You can do different things. But this is about what will serve you and your body and your spirit and where you're at in this season. You making a promise to yourself and then, and then not following through, that needs to stop. It needs to stop today. It doesn't need to start, stop next Monday or, or whatever. Like it stops today in this moment. You're gonna say, I am with you. This is what I commit to. You're gonna drop it in a comment. Megan and Lauren, I wanna see what you're committing to this week. Right now, today, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be yours and it needs to be authentic to where you're at and what you need. And if that means you need to schedule in play or you need to schedule in rest or you need to schedule in time with a girlfriend, like all those things freaking matter. It never needs to be perfect. Perfection won't get you to your goal any faster. It won't. It will get you, it'll get you to an unhappy place in your brain a lot faster because living this perfect life, this perfect journey, it leaves no room for error or exploration or ahas. And that's what yesterday's Cheeto incident gave me. It was just an aha. That is what gut protocol has given me is a series of ahas. It's not about being this like crazy person with my containers and what I can have and what I can't have and tracking it. It has given me the space to take away things that don't serve me. And then I can layer them back in and see how I feel. Because what I'm finding and what I know, I think all of us know this hashtag duh, is that nutrition is the building block of everything your mental health, you guys, like if you don't believe that your nutrition affects like how the thoughts that you think, you need to do some more exploration with gut biome and how your gut is a second brain. It's really freaking crazy cool. What a gift, what a gift that we have so many awesome tools in our tool chest. And if right now you can't do gut protocol, then don't do gut protocol, but make a promise to yourself. 
and lower the expectations around what that promise needs to be and then raise your own bar and say, no matter what, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it. And if I mess up and if I fail, well, that is part of being a human and figuring it out and navigating along the way, right? Your test is your testimony. Your mess is where your freaking journey is made, right? Right. Amen. So I just was chewing on that and I was like, so many of us, myself included, we make promises to ourselves, and then we break them and we come up with all these reasons. We just excuse it away. We rationalize it. We come up with, well, I need to give myself grace or well, blah, blah, blah. The timing just isn't right. That's bullshit. That's total crap. You are worth so much more than that. So stop selling yourself short. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be yours. Make a promise to yourself and then show up to it every single day. Even if it's five minutes, it counts, it adds up. And that is the stuff that compounds, right? Right. So no more Cheetos for Sarah today. I'm going to do a much better job at packing a dinner for myself. And I also decided that, you know what? It's another busy day. Tomorrow is another busy day. I have so many freaking busy days. I'm doing a thousand mail routes, which are like 98 to 150 miles. It takes my, it takes a huge part of my day. And then I have a homeschool kid and then I got my business and then I got mom life. And then we got baseball and softball, two different things happening. I legit have excuses, but I am worthy of rest and I am worthy of doing the stuff that brings me joy. I am worthy of putting on my own oxygen mask. It's not just about containers and it's not just about workouts. It is about what will serve me today today, not when it slows down or when I have time, but what will serve me today so that I can be a more fun version of me for my kids. Because who wants to go through life screaming and freaking out and like eating the Cheetos and then feeling like Homer Simpson and being all shamey? <laughs> I don't want to live that life. I want to be fun, mom. I want to be fun, Sarah. I want to feel proud that I am imperfect, but I'm a committed mofo and I'm not going to let one day or two days or three weeks or whatever derail me. And if you have been in that place where you're like, it, I just, I can't do it. I just, I just, I can't. Yes, you can. Here is my belief. Borrow it, plug into it, fake it till you make it. There's nothing wrong with that. If I can do it, you can do it. it you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. <sighs> okay. So I'm going to get off my phone. I'm going to turn on, I was listening to some Jesus music and now I'm going to listen to some pod, a podcast that works on my mindset. I'm going to finish doing the mail. I'm going to be grateful for this beautiful. It's so pretty. Look, look here. I'll flip you around so you can see. Here we go. This is where your wheat comes from. These are where cattle are raised. These are where rocks hit your windshield every five minutes. <laughs> Carolyn sent me that it brings me joy. Anyways, this is, this is rural Montana, my friends. So no matter where you're at, no matter what season you're in, you can do it. I believe in you, show up to it, log your accountability. Some is better than none and done is always better than perfect.